Today we celebrate the Mass of the fifth Sunday in the ordinary time. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. The Lord be with you. My dear friends in Christ, as we come before the Lord today, we give him praise and thanks. The Lord reminds us in the Gospel that we must be his light in the world. And with that in mind, let us acknowledge our sins as we prepare to celebrate the sacred mystery. Lord Jesus, you are the source of all blessing. Lord, have mercy. Christ, you conquered the darkness of the world. Christ, have mercy. Lord, you bring us to eternal light. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest. And on earth, peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty God, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. <clears throat> you are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Keep your family safe, O Lord, with your unfailing care, so that relying solely on the hope of heavenly grace, we may be defended always by your protection. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> A reading for the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, Share your bread with the hungry, Shelter the oppressed and the homeless. Clothe the naked when you see them. And do not turn your back on your own. Then your light shall break forth like the dawn. And your wound shall quickly be healed. Your vindication shall go before you. And the glory of the Lord shall be your rear guard. Then you shall call and the Lord will answer. You shall cry for help. And he will say, here I am. If you remove from your midst oppression, false accusation, and malicious speech, if you bestow your bread on the hungry and satisfy the afflicted, then light shall rise for you in the darkness, and the gloom shall become for you like midday. The word of the Lord Thanks be to God. Our response to God's word. The just man is a light in darkness to the upright. The just man is a light in darkness to the upright. Light shines through the darkness for the upright. He is gracious and merciful and just. Well for the man who is gracious and lends, who conducts his affairs with justice. The just man is a light in darkness to the upright. He shall never be moved. The just one shall be in everlasting remembrance. An evil report he shall not fear. His heart is firm, trusting in the Lord. The just man is a light in darkness to the upright. His heart is steadfast, he shall not fear. Lavishly he gives to the poor. His justice shall endure forever. 
his horn shall be exalted in glory. The just man is a light in darkness to the upright. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. When I came to you, brothers and sisters, proclaiming the mystery of God, I did not come with sublimity of words or of wisdom, for I resolved to know nothing while I was with you except Jesus Christ and him crucified. I came to you in weakness and fear and much trembling, and my message and my proclamation were not with persuasive words of wisdom, but with a demonstration of spirit and power, so that your faith might rest not on human wisdom, but on the power of God. The word of the Lord, thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. I am the light of the world, says the Lord. Whoever follows me, will have the light of life. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, you are the salt of the earth, but if salt loses its taste, with what can it be seasoned? It is no longer good for anything but to be thrown out and trampled underfoot. You are the light of the world. A city set on a mountain cannot be hidden, nor do they light a lamp and then put it under a bushel basket. It is set on a lampstand where it gives light to all in the house. Just so your light must shine before others that they may see your good deeds and glorify your heavenly Father. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, every year on Holy Saturday night, the church is in darkness. That symbolizes the darkness of the world without our Lord Jesus Christ. It symbolizes the darkness of sin, the darkness of suffering, and the darkness of death. And on that night at the Easter Vigil Mass, the main mass of Easter, a new fire is blessed in the rear of the church and from that fire, a special candle, the Easter candle, is lit, symbolizing that the light of Christ conquers all darkness. It is a reminder, as St. Paul says, that we are children of the light, not of the darkness. We are people who know the light of Christ. But the ceremony does not end there. Some of you may have been to the Easter Vigil Mass and you know what happens next. After the priest sings Christ our light for the first time, the people who are present begin to light their own candles from the Easter candle, symbolizing that the light of Christ spreads throughout the world. By the time the priest sings Christ our light for the third time, the church is filled with lighted candles. The light of Christ has come. The light of Christ has spread. And we realize what our Lord means when he says the gospel words of today. You are the light of the world. He tells us not to hide his light but rather to put it on a lampstand where it gives light to all in the house, to everyone in the house of our lives. And then he gives us this task. Let your light shine before others so that they may see your good deeds 
and give glory to your Father in heaven. The candles that we hold in our hands on Holy Saturday night remind us that we must be the light of Christ every day of our lives. Our Holy Father, Pope Francis, explains this beautifully. Let me share with you his words. The Pope writes, we have this mission to keep the light that we have received from Jesus, protecting it, safeguarding it. The Christian must be a person of light, but one who brings light, who always gives off light. Remember that that light is not ours, it is a gift from God, a gift from Jesus himself. We carry this light. If a Christian lets this light go out, then his life has no meaning. He is a Christian in name only. Who do you want to live for? Do you want to live as the lamp that is burning or one that is not? We must live as burning lamps. It is truly God who gives us this light, and then we must give it to others. Shining lamps, that is our Christian vocation. Dear friends, we have all known people in our lives who have been the shining lamps of Jesus Christ's light. We think of parents and godparents and grandparents and other members of our family who taught us to know, love, and serve God, and most importantly, taught us to pray. They were certainly Christ's light to us. We think of teachers, many of whom long gone home to God, who shared the light of Christ that was in them, in their good Christian lives, and helped us to have that light too. We think of friends who were there in our lives who helped to give us the light of Christ, particularly when we were facing some problem. I think of a priest that I know very well. Let me tell you about him. Father David Cassell, whom the Lord called home to heaven 24 years ago this Thursday. Father Casella came from a good, proud Italian family. His parents were people of great faith, who valued their faith and shared it with their five children, especially with one with special needs. Father Casella heard the call of the Lord to be a priest, and he spent all of his priesthood here in the Bronx. He became pastor of Our Lady of Angels Church on Cedric Avenue in the West Bronx. He was a hard worker. But most importantly, he was a loving priest who let Christ's light shine through him. He touched countless numbers of people, especially young people, who certainly saw the light of Christ in him. Father Casella suffered from a heart condition, and he died as a young man. When he died, <clears throat> I called his rectory to express my condolences. And the young girl who answered the phone thanked me for the call. And then she said something beautiful. She said to me, Father, we all love Father David. And then she added, he was the father I never had. The light of Jesus Christ shined through that good priest. He had the light, he shared the light. But for that young lady, he was the father she never had. We all have experiences like that. But our Lord points in the gospel today 
to the fact that we should not only thank him for others who have been his light to us, we must be the light of Christ ourselves. We must let Christ's light shine through us. Pope Francis says that we must be missionary people not only in words, but in the quality of our lives. We must all be missionaries of Christ's light. Dear friends, may that light shine through us. And may we always remember our Lord's words spoken to each one of us. You are the light of the world. Let your light shine before others so that they may see your good deeds and give the glory to your Father in heaven. May God bless you all. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. <clears throat> <clears throat> Join in our profession of faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten and Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God. Begotten, not made and substance with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified on the Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Dear friends, in Christ standing in God's holy presence, we present our needs before him, saying after each of them, Lord, hear our prayer. For our Holy Father, Pope Francis, our Archbishop Timothy, Cardinal Roman, and all the leaders of the church, that they will help us to grow in holiness and truth, we pray to the Lord. That we will take seriously our Lord's words to us today, that we must be the light of the world, particularly to those who are in need. We pray to the Lord. We pray in thanksgiving for those who have been the light of Christ to us, showing us the way of faith. We pray to the Lord. That during this time of the Eucharistic renewal, we will grow in our love and appreciation of the Holy Eucharist, our Lord's greatest gift to us, his people, we pray to the Lord. For the blessing of peace, particularly in Ukraine, that our Blessed Mother Mary, Queen of Peace, will help to bring peace to that troubled land, we pray to the Lord. For our American servicemen and women serving throughout the world, particularly members of our parish, that they will be protected in safety, we pray to the Lord. For doctors, nurses, EMTs, and healthcare professionals, police officers, and firefighters, that the Lord will bless them in their service of us all, we pray to the Lord. For those
those who are sick and suffering, and for our beloved dead, especially the departed members of our parish, we pray to the Lord. Let us offer our own prayer in silence. Heavenly Father, hear the prayers of your people. Guide and protect us in our journey of life and one day bring us safely home to your kingdom. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. <clears throat> Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. <clears throat> For through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. For the mystery of this quarter and one, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Wash away my iniquity, O Lord, and cleanse me from my sin. My brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O Lord our God, who once established these created things to sustain us in our frailty, Grant, we pray, that they may become for us now the sacrament of eternal life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. By his birth we are reborn. By his suffering we are freed from sin. By his rising from the dead we rise to everlasting life. And, into, and in his return to you in glory we enter into your heavenly kingdom. And so we join with all the angels and the saints to praise you, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. The Lord Jesus now comes to this altar to change bread and wine into his body and blood that has spoken him to our hearts. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the new so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time, he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. 
This is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. <clears throat> For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord until you come again. <clears throat> Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Timothy, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, <clears throat> with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty God, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At our Savior's command, and formed by his divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, <clears throat> we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, <clears throat> in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. 
and mercy on us. <clears throat> Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world and mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us peace. <clears throat> Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy <clears throat> that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. We invite you now to welcome our Lord in spiritual holy communion to your heart. Before we come to the final prayer and the blessing, we give thanks to God that we have joined in the holy sacrifice of the Mass today. May the Lord continue to bless you. Remember that you are the light of Christ to your family, to your friends, and the Lord must see the light shining through you. May you keep that light burning brightly. Let us pray. <clears throat> O God, who have willed that we be partakers in the body and blood of your Son, grant us, we pray, so to live, that made one in Christ, we may joyfully bear fruit for the salvation of the world. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you, and may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.